thing. That's a real new thing. Yes, you. It's time to put that hand to what will move you forward. We're not looking back, and there ain't no stopping us now. What awaits you is right in front. It's something new, and it's just for you. So join me for that new thing starting now on a new thing live. Hello and welcome to A New Thing Live. I am so glad to have you with us today. My name is Cindy Galley. I'm the host of this amazing show. This is actually our summer series. And so our summer series is a little bit different than what we normally do. And so because it's our summer series, we are out on location. And today with us, I have the honor, the privilege of having on our show, Molly Solomon. Is that right? Hi, yes. Okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Molly, welcome to A New Thing Live. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yes, of course. Now, Molly's with the Safe Family Justice Centers, and, and just a real fun way that we've met today mm -hmm. is that we're actually at an event at Michael Kors Store it, at the uh, South Coast Plaza, and it's an event called Purses for a Purpose. Pur purses for a purpose and so I wanted to interview Molly and just bring you on here to talk a little bit about your organization or a lot of it about your organization <laughs> absolutely yes because what you're doing uh, I didn't even know that Safe Families Justice Centers even existed until prepping for this particular event and you said well most people don't until they need us yeah most people don't <laughs> know about us until they need us and so um, my name is Molly Solomon and I'm with the Safe Family Justice Centers and we are a nonprofit organization that serves victims of domestic violence, child abuse, elder abuse, sexual assault, and human mm. trafficking. Wow. And so we like to kind of be a one-stop shop for victims of those crime types. So they're not having to go tons of different places, retell their story over and over again. Right. They get one resource here, one resource there. We want them to be able to come to us and we can give them everything that they need or connect them with a partner organization mm -hmm. that can do that. So from everything, emergency stability funds, housing, court support. Wow. Um, we even have a therapy dog for children. Oh. Um, we have uh, gas vouchers, grocery vouchers. We have a safe house. We have um, programs for victims of domestic violence. We wow. have youth programs geared at breaking that cycle of abuse because unfortunately it is a cycle yes and we serve about 5,000 people a year and 20 to 25 percent of those people are children wow and we want that cycle to stop with yes. them so we try to kind of get them in young when they're youth at risk and teach them about healthy relationships what love looks like um, have positive so um, influence from law enforcement and so we're really doing everything that we, that we can to help survivors rebuild their lives mm -hmm. and to help that cycle not continue wow you talked about a lot of different things right there and so amazing just to hear all that you're able to do to families that come to you uh, and you said 25% of what you see really coming through your doors are children. Yes, so that can either be children who are abused or children who are victims of abuse wow. or youth that are at risk. Wow, that's heartbreaking for sure. Yeah, it definitely is. And so the events like Purses for a Purpose mm -hmm. and we have a golf event, we have a VIP wine event, we have lots of events throughout the year that are actually raising money to go directly to our client services. So because yeah. we are a nonprofit organization, everything that we do is donor funded, sponsor funded, grant funded. And so for this Purses for a Purpose event, I actually reached out to the Michael Kors store and just asked them for a donation. Like, hey, we're having this event, can you guys donate a bag? Mm -hmm. And Kaylin, the store manager was like, this is amazing and I wanna be more involved. I so love that. we wanna actually open it up for our clients to donate. And so what Purses <laughs> for a Purpose is, we collect new and gently used designer bags. Any designer bag? Any designer. Okay. So we collect the designer bags, and so we're not paying for any of those, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're donated, and then we auction them off, and that is how we raise yeah. money. Um, so some of them you can get for a really good deal. Some of them go even above their, you know, their yeah. sale value, <laughs> uh, depending on if it's a little bidding war for some. Yes. But I just inventoried our bags last week. We have over 150 bags for this year. Wow, congratulations. Have, thank you. That's Everybody's been so generous. Wonderful. We have, Louis Vuitton, Tory Burch, Rebecca Minkoff, Coach, Michael Kors, um, Marc Jacobs. We have 
so many yeah. different bags. Yeah. Um, and so you can come and get a deal, or you can come and you can get in a bidding war with somebody else. Yeah, any you Chanel, really want that bag. Any, Absol yeah. Absolutely. We have lots of accessories, <laughs> um, we have sunglasses, hats, scarves. Um, we even wow. have some clothing items. So. Okay. It's gonna be a great event. It's gonna be on Tuesday, and That's, it is an okay. annual event. Okay. So we have it every year, and we actually got so many bags this year that we might plan a second event this year. Wow, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have some uh, information up regarding this particular event on Tuesday. Yes, August uh, 30th. August 30th. Mm -hmm. So really, with this show airing today, then that would be tomorrow. Yeah. So we will have that information up then tonight, sometime or maybe first thing in the morning, for those of you that might want to jump on that bidding war. And then we'll... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure that's a lot of fun too. And here's the thing, you know, a lot of us can say, oh, well, we love fashion and we love purses and we love bags and we do. But what one of the beautiful things that I saw happening out today on the floor and mm -hmm. here at Michael Kors was just the the collaboration and you could just feel the love and the support mm -hmm. that people have for say family justice centers and I love yes. that it's Absolutely. not just fashion it's like fashion for with a cause and people were coming in saying oh I don't have anything to to donate um, today with me because I didn't know but yeah. I would love to bring something in can I get your card yeah had somebody who said that their church organization puts together um, little toiletry bags and they would love to donate some of those to us yeah so really we we accept donations of different kinds all year long you know we get Christmas gifts around Christmas time mm -hmm. we get uh, we just did a back to school drive and we filled hundreds of backpacks with school supplies wow. to give to all of our youth clients um, we give them pumpkins at Halloween we give them Christmas trees we give them Christmas I love gifts that uh, we really want to make their lives feel as normal as possible because when people come to us, it's one of the most traumatic times of their life. Sure. And so, you know, giving them what they need is one thing, but giving them things that, you know, they're thinking, I just need food, I just need a face, safe place to stay, but it's like, how about some Christmas gifts? Mm -hmm. How about a tree? How about, you know, those things that are above and beyond to make you feel normal during yeah. this time in your life? So good, so good. So you mentioned some of the things that people would donate how can somebody get involved what are some of the needs that you have right now so for example somebody saying I can't bring a purse who so you did mention some right. but what are some of the ways that you would really say we really need help in this area so we are gonna be going into the holidays and so Christmas gifts are a great okay. idea and think about the teenagers because a lot of people think mm. kids gifts and they think that's easy Barbies Legos those things but think about the teenagers yeah. so think about gift cards think about electronics mm -hmm. think about those other things because Van, everyone thinks Van's about the little kids cards. yes oh my gosh <laughs> yes teenagers yeah um, because everyone thinks about the little kids and yes. the, the fun little toys um, so that is one way we also okay. accept monetary donations all year round that okay. go towards things like hotel vouchers or gas or groceries or oh, providing yeah. things for our safe house giving people um, like we gave a bunch of bras to the hospital because when victims mm -hmm. of sexual assault go in their bras usually confiscated for evidence and so wow. we gave a bunch of bras to the hospital so that they could give those to the victims so that they don't have to leave without a bra I don't yeah. I don't want to go anywhere without a bra so yeah. let alone leaving a hospital um, so SafeFJC is our website and people can go on there get more information about us there's a yes. donate button um, there's information about our events our golf tournament coming up okay um, so that website's gonna have a lot of information for people. Wonderful, and then should somebody find themselves in a situation where they need to reach out to you because they're in an abusive situation, they can also reach out as a 24 hour hotline? Absolutely. Or is it just so that website? On well? our website, you will find um, four different phone numbers because okay. we do have four center locations. So we okay. have Temecula, Marietta, Riverside, and Indio is what we serve, but you do not have to be a resident of Riverside County. Okay. So anybody can know. reach out to us. That's just where our centers are located. Okay. Um, so if someone is in a situation, we are completely survivor led. So if you come to us and you just want help with one little thing, we're not going to pry. We're not going to push for more. Um, if you don't want to involve law enforcement, that's okay. If you end up going back to that situation, as mm. horrible as that is, our doors are still open if you need to come back. Wow, I love um, that. Other than child abuse, which we're a mandatory reporter for that, um, everything else is completely survivor-led. Okay. Um, you know, we, we don't we don't pry. Um, yeah. You know, no matter what your citizenship status, no matter what your religion, your sexual orientation, your gender, yeah. nothing, um, our doors are open to help everybody. 
Wow, this is wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. And again, just congratulations. This was a phenomenal event. It was amazing. Thank a you to lot everyone of, who donated. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. There's a lot of love. Thank you, Michael Kors, for opening your doors uh, to Safe Family Justice Center. It's just a wonderful time. And I mean, people are rocking their Michael Kors outfits and their shoes. But right? then just to see the baskets of all the purses. And I was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Purses, wallets. There yes, was lots of things I donated. Did, yes, I did see some wallets, too. So. Thank you guys so much. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Thank you so much, Molly. Thank you. Alrighty. Today, I'm here at Michael Kors at the South Coast Plaza, and I have with me today one of the very highly exalted clients of this particular Michael Kors, Regina Smith. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing so well, thank you. And so you're here at this fun event, which is called Purses for a Purpose. When I came in, I, I said, oh my goodness, I remember you because we were here at another Michael Kors event not too long ago. So you are a regular, this I know. <laughs> but before the Bible doesn't tell me so, but, <laughs> but I know you're a regular. The last event we attended was actually a fun fashion show. But today's event was very special in that it really is celebrating and surrounding a cause. Tell, tell me about what you saw outside in the showroom. Well, today I saw uh, one of the representatives for the Foundation for Women of, I guess, Domestic Violence, and they were collecting purses from clients that usually come and shop, and they were they're going to have a um, auction and take up the money and sow it into the foundation to help the women for the cause of domestic violence. And I thought that was so awesome, yes. and I wanted to be a part of it, so I came in today. Oh, I love that. I'm so glad that you did. I mean, I know that you already support Michael Kors anyway, but whatever we can do to advocate against domestic violence is, is very important. And it just seemed like there was a lot of fun happening out there. I mean, I, when I came in, I saw you just chit-chatting it up. And, and I love your outfit, by the way. Is this Michael Kors? Yes, this is a Michael Kors outfit, and it's real flowing. And I love the pattern, and it can go with anything. You can dress it up or down. It's comfortable. I have to agree. I'm actually wearing a Michael Kors myself. And I just, it's very comfortable. It's flowy, but yet I feel dressed. You can't really tell because this is from the waist up, but it's a fun pleated dress. It comes right at the knee. And I just feel very feminine today. And yours is a lot of fun. I love exactly how you have it paired up. And the one of the things that I was telling one of the sales associates is, I love that Michael Kors will have a certain print but it'll be different styles. So I did see one of the other sales associates wearing the same print, but it was her own style. And so it's just kind of like you get to wear what you like and what really reflects you, which has been a lot of fun. What did you see in terms of the people coming and rallying around this organization today? When the women are going through those challenges, the first thing they grab is their purse. And we could also be a part of it by donating a purse that's slightly worn to support the cause and they can use it to auction it off, collect the funds and sow it into the different organizations. I thought that was awesome. I was gonna say amen to that. You know, it's so true, especially I can tell we both like fashion. <laughs> so it's fun, not only is it fun, but to me it's this double where it's fun, but at the same time you're supporting something that's extremely valuable and it's impacting literally the lives of families that have gone through something very devastating. So this is just a beautiful way that we can come around and rally around them and let them know that we support them. So you are a Michael Kors girl. I'm gonna shift gears a little bit. What is it that you like about shopping at Michael Kors? They don't pressure you to buy what they think that you need, but something that you will feel comfortable in and they show you their different styles and everything and they're just so pleasant their customer service is awesome and we don't have that as much in different stores so I just love the customer service here the way they reach out to you and make you feel so comfortable in what you want to purchase yes. they really do have great customer actually excellent customer service in fact I want to say the the time that I met you your birthday was being celebrated here after hours <laughs> at South Coast Plaza, Michael Kors. And that's just how much 
their clients mean to them. So is there anything that you want to say or give a shout out to before we wrap this time up together? And thank you so much, by the way, for coming in and chatting with us for a minute. I just want to give a shout out to all my friends that actually shop at Michael's Coors and came to support me when Michael Coors did celebrate my birthday. It was so awesome. And I had family and friends come from all over and it was just a blessing to be able to be recognized by Michael Coors because I am a client and I love that about them. Well, thank you so much, Regina. And again, for those of you that are just watching for the first time and hearing about Safe Family Justice Centers, we are going to have their information up. Thank you so much for joining us today, Regina. It's been fun having you. Thanks for having me. It's an all new season two, bringing you now more than ever before. You'll be inspired. Welcome to a new thing live. And Italian food is a comfort. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're not a rapper. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's okay. You'll have be strengthened. Oh, it's in there. You just can't. <laughs> you, just can't <laughs> you just can't find it. No. I have one. It's in there. It's in there. We get real. That you had mentioned is that you help people get to their next best place in God. Bop, 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 bop. But what, while they're turning, well, I couldn't do it. <laughs> and we have fun. We're going where we've never gone before and we're inviting you to come along. It's a new thing live. We get real, we get raw. It's a little bit of crazy, but a whole lot of fun. Come and join us on Monday nights where you will be strengthened to do that new thing that's in your heart to do. And subscribe today to A New Thing Live. Yes, so if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, do that. If you're watching us on Roku, Facebook, or even on YouTube, go on over, do a little search, A New Thing Live, hit that search, pops up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you're in the loop. It'll tell you when we go on live or when it'll let you know when a new video has been dropped. And we're doing this every week and we really do this for you. We wanna encourage you and strengthen you to let you know, hey, you can do it. Those ideas, those thoughts, those new things that you have in your heart to do, you can do them. So we're bringing people on our show to let you know, like if they could do it, you can do it. And of course, just some of the new things that we're finding out about, some of the new things that are going on as we continue to walk out some of these crazy times. Uh, there are organizations we wanna make you aware of. And so Safe Family Justice Center is in that category as well. Do follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and then of course, above all else, uh, email us if you have a prayer request. Email us at a new thing dot live at gmail.com a new thing dot live at gmail.com not only will we read it but we will pray because we believe in the power of prayer the bible says two of you agree concerning anything that you ask it will be done for you by our father in heaven we believe that here at a new thing live with all of our hearts so do send in that prayer request we love you guys we want you to know that there are new things that are on the horizon for you don't lose hope. Continue to keep your chin up. Call out on God. He will answer. So many testimonies I'm hearing about things that God has done, the miraculous even in people's lives. But we got to call out. We got to believe that there is a God who loves us and there is one. There is only one. Call out to him. And hey, I want to say thank you so much to Safe Family Justice Centers for coming here spending some time with me here at Michael Kors and also Michael Kors for allowing us to do our new thing live taping here I want to say thank you so much to Regina Smith for coming and sharing what it's like for her to be a Michael Kors client specifically at the South Coast Plaza and thank you guys for tuning in and joining us today I'm excited our end of the summer series they're pretty small they're pretty short <laughs> pretty pretty short so and next week's gonna be short too and they're on location so for me that's so much fun i love going out on location and just seeing what everybody else is doing what everybody else is up to so have an incredible week guys love you so much we'll see you next week for the end of summer series on a new thing live bye bye
Are you ready? 